Pine webworm is another insect pest that affects uh, southern pines. It affects loblolly, slash. You can actually find this on any of the native southern pine species. Um, this primarily affects young trees. It primarily affects uh, seedlings and saplings. You tend to see it on young trees. Uh, we have some photos here, but you can see uh, it affects their sort of the, the, the growing tips because what it does is um, the larvae, as they're feeding on the foliage, yeah, it actually kind of can sometimes even almost defoliate uh, individual branches. And then you end up with sort of these balls of frass. Um, and uh, it, you end up sort of with big clumps of the frass. And, it, and, it, and, that, and that's basically what you see. But it's mostly something that affects regeneration, young, young seedlings and saplings. Once the trees get bigger, um, that, that you really don't see this. It's something that happens on young trees. So we have some samples here, but this, this organism, uh, the, the pine webworm, um, it's in the genus Pocosera, um, and there's several species. But here, here's an example. Um, the, you know, the, the larvae have been feeding, and all their excrement is sort of, you know, clustered here, and we, we call that with, when... Uh, with insects, we call that frass, but they, they're, it's basically they're making a home here, okay? Um, and so as the larvae pupate, um, they're, they're sort of overwintering in this material. It protects them, and um, eventually the adults will emerge from this, and, you know, of course they then will, in the spring, lay their eggs on, on, on new, you know, new needles, and the larvae will feed again, and, and there's actually multiple generations in uh, in the deep south, and um, often though it's it's sort of you know the the damage is sort of focused on the t the growing tips and things like that. The impact of this is usually very minimal uh, because it's just you know relatively small amount of uh, foliage, and the bud is still alive. It's going to be able to grow right through that, uh, and so the impact is usually very minor. You know if you have a lot of this on some recently planted seedlings, it might slow them down a little bit. But this is not something that generally kills the trees. Uh, it might just stress, you know, stress them a little bit or weaken them. But this is a native insect, and it's and it's really something that uh, is generally not something that has to be managed in any way. Uh, but anyway, this is how you identify. You really are going to look for those, um, you know, big clumps of, of frass. And if you if you pull this apart, you can find the larvae inside of there, which are usually um, dark brown in color. And they vary in size depending on their developmental stage. It can sometimes be almost a green color depending on their developmental stage. And in fact, if we look hard enough, we might even be able to find one in here, although they probably have already sort of developed at this, at this point. Uh, or they may have pupated and may even fall into the ground. Uh, so anyway, that's, that is the pine webworm.